Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Brutal Foods. My name is Ian, and today I'm here to talk to you about chess. It's not easy being cheesy. <laughs> okay, so we're not talking about chips exactly. We're actually gonna be talking about spin-offs that chips have. Chip companies are always trying to branch out and reinvent the chip. Maybe it's just because they feel like the general public isn't stoked about chips as much as they should be. Uh, but for whatever reason, they always come up with these new different chip ideas or random chip concoctions. In fact, I'd wager that a lot of us have our own favorite unique chip product. I would think that the uh, Doritos Locos Tacos from Taco Bell would be a popular item. I remember eating those in college and liking them. I don't know about nowadays. I think my favorite nostalgic Dorito throwback is the Doritos 3D snacks. Uh, they were like these, they were Doritos. But, but they, they were, were in 3D. 3D. Hi, Chihuahua. Doritos 3D snacks. Look out, they're coming soon. As far as Cheetos go, I think my favorites were probably the X's and O's they did for a while. They did some pretty funky shapes. What letters represent mm. offense and defense? Mm, X's and O's. Yes! I would imagine that some of those are probably still around. Like the Curly Q Puff, that one's still gotta be around. The things I'm trying today though aren't actually chips. At least I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be chips. We've got Mac and Cheetos, some type of frozen uh, Cheeto thing. And then I've also got Doritos Loaded. I've got Nacho Cheese and Cool Ranch, which I don't know, I'm assuming that these are kind of like mozzarella sticks, and this is kind of like a mozzarella stick with mac and cheese in the middle? I'm not totally sure. Let's, let's go with Doritos first. We'll come back to mac and Cheetos, uh, but first we're gonna make Doritos Loaded. Doritos Loaded! I just recently got a toaster oven, uh, actually mostly for these kinds of videos, because it doesn't make sense to heat up a whole oven to make a Dorito. Well, it's preheating. Let's check out the boxes a bit more. I did not do much research. I saw them at the store, I grabbed them, and now we're here. Doritos loaded, Cool Ranch. Crispy Doritos flavored crust loaded with melty cheese. Ready in just minutes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be like a mozzarella stick. It's gonna be like a mozzarella stick with a Doritos outside, which honestly doesn't sound too crazy. I mean, it sounds a little crazy, but maybe not too crazy. I'd probably say that these are more sane of an idea than the Mac and Cheetos, though they could still be terrible. In fact, they're probably gonna be terrible. While I'm opening these, where do we all stand on the uh, Cool Ranch versus Nacho Cheese debate? I like both. If I had to give it to one though, uh, I'd probably give it to Cool Ranch. But let me know how you feel. Vote in the comments. Who will win? Cool Ranch or Nacho? Huh. Well, these are definitely triangles. And they're like little frozen triangle squares. Let's get the Cool Ranch ones out. So, they just look like big Doritos. I mean, really weird big Doritos, but still, they did nail the Doritos look kind of thing. You know, they are triangles on the front of the package, but for some reason, it's still Really, really bizarre to see these giant frozen triangle chunks. You 
Now they smell just like Doritos. I guess that shouldn't be surprising. They smell just like Doritos. Uh, I would not be surprised if they actually just crushed up some Doritos to make the breading of these uh, things. Now, if I'm going based just on smell, I'm gonna say that nacho cheese smells better, but I think that Cool Ranch looks a little less scary. For now, I'm just gonna go with one of each because I got some Cheetos to eat later, so what do you think? Which one would you rather eat? Which one do you think you would rather try? I still think that based on smell, I'm going nacho cheese, but if I saw these two things sitting there and I had to pick one to eat and I couldn't smell it, I would go with Cool Ranch. Now these guys kind of went full circle in the smell department as they were cooking. Started off smelling pretty good, uh, about three fourths of the way done. They just started smelling really, really bad. I'm assuming that's when the cheese spilled out. Uh, now that they're out, they, they smell pretty good, you know? They smell like a snack I would try voluntarily, off camera, in my own time. Maybe. Something interesting to me is that I think the cheese looks different. The cheese in the Cool Ranch is kind of light, a lighter yellow, whereas the cheese that's leaking out of nacho cheese is a darker yellow. And I kind of wonder if that means there's different cheese on the inside. I guess it does. I consulted the back of the box, but I took one glance at it. It's a novel. I'm just gonna, you know, I'll let my taste buds decide. Seems pretty crispy on the outside. I think I'm gonna go Cool Ranch first. I feel like the nacho cheese might be more overpowering. Uh, let's see what we got here, guys. It's very triangly. It does remind me a bit of the Doritos 3D, which I'm into. Well, it's a little disappointing to look into. I admit, I kind of expected it to be more loaded with cheese. A little disappointing to bite in and just see this empty cavern where a bunch of cheese could go. That said, it doesn't taste terrible. Well, it doesn't taste great either. The cheese, as you can probably tell when I'm you know, pulling it away, I kind of expected a mozzarella stringy cheese. Uh, this is just kind of like a goopy, goop goop, gooperino cheese. Goop goop. Maybe it's because most of the cheese spilled out of the snack while it was cooking, but it's mainly the outside. The inside is really, I don't even know if I taste it or if I mainly taste the outside crunchy part. It's a little funky though. So it doesn't taste like a Cool Ranch Dorito at all. There's, I don't taste any of that Cool Ranch flavor that I was hoping for. It also doesn't really remind me of a cheese stick. Uh, the outside, it, the breading does. The outside of the Dorito reminds me of the outside of a cheese stick, but instead of being filled with nice stringy mozzarella cheese, it's just an empty cave of sadness. Let's give nacho cheese a try. Uh, so the cheese is different in here. I'm almost positive the cheese is different. I don't know if that makes me excited or not. I think it makes me nervous. I don't know about that. I just don't know about that. I don't like this one. This one tastes familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. And it's not just because I've got Dorito stuff on my fingers, which I do. I don't like how the inside looks. I don't like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of cheese they use. It just tastes so processed. And I know that that's to be expected in a, a food like this, but man, it tastes kind of burned too. It, they both taste a little burned. When I didn't overcook them, I didn't actually burn them. But for some reason or another, I don't know, it's just got this burned, burned flavor to it. I would say that in the battle of nacho cheese versus Cool Ranch, Cool Ranch wins, 
but I mean, only barely. It's still not something that I would actively seek out to eat or even to try. The question I have right now is, would I recognize this as a Dorito product if I didn't know? The shape would definitely give it away, but if you ignored the shape and you just ate these, I don't think that you would know that it was a Doritos product. The Cool Ranch flavor is not really there. The nacho cheese smell is there, but taste-wise, it just has this really burned fake cheese, nasty, nasty, burned, nasty, burned flavor. A burned. burned. We're not gonna take just my word for it, of course. Let's see what the internet has to say. Looks like the loaded Cool Ranch Doritos maybe originally came in a very nacho cheese looking box, which doesn't seem to make much sense. It's also only got one review on walmart.com and it is not a good one. Disgusting, nothing like Doritos and easily one of the worst tasting things I've eaten in quite some time. It's like eating milky vomit and adding ranch in an attempt to improve their flavor made them so much worse. The cheesy look when broken apart as shown on the box was clearly not evident. Quite a few of them just had some dried out cheese on each side with lots of empty space. Perhaps I overcooked them. Perhaps even I got a bad box, but I'm very certain they wouldn't have tasted much better. Never, Never again. again. Disgusting. I gotta say, it doesn't really look like the nacho cheese variant is uh, trending much better. Here's a review from Daddy Toadsworth titled, Don't Let the Devil Consume Your Bum Bum. I love Doritos with a passion. I went to Walmart and bought a pack because they looked spectacular. We went straight home with pure excitement and cranked on the oven. A few minutes passed and the smell of rotten vomit came crawling from inside the stove. We thought that a mouse had died in our oven and started burning. A few more lengthy minutes passed and the timer set off. We were starving by this point. Opening the oven door exposed the horrid smell like a cloud of smoke. We gagged. We gagged. We gagged. Eventually, we grabbed a few of the demon triangles and placed them in our virgin mouths. The flavor that oozed out was a disgusting array of satanic fluids. What the heck are these things filled with? Was asked ourselves as we darted to the bathroom, clenching our poor bums. We've never felt the rage of a thousand demons purge through our bodies and into the poor, unforgiving toilet. Plop. All I can say is that the plumber got a fat check. Uh, and that was Don't Let the Devil Consume Your Bum Bum by Daddy Toadsworth. I hope uh, that was interesting. We know the Doritos uh, don't seem to have fared very well, but what about the Mac and Cheetos? Mac and Cheetos. It's crispy, it's creamy, it's the new Mac and Cheetos mac and cheese snacks that are somehow both made with real cheese and creamy, creamy cheddar flavored. Has Chester always looked basically the same? I feel like a lot of mascots get rebranded, but I feel like Chester still looks pretty similar to how he did back in the day. I am not into those teeth. He kind of looks like an animal character that a, a dentist office would have. Though the box looks a bit different on the front, uh, looking at the back you can tell it's cut from the same cloth as the Doritos loaded snacks. Toaster oven's already at 450 so all we gotta do is remove it from package and uh, let it bake for 10 minutes. And our reward is gonna be this thing that definitely doesn't look like a nice steaming poo. Plop. <laughs> Oh, baby. 
You know what these look like? These look like the uh, Cheeto type snack from Putt Putt Saves the Zoo. I wanna say that they're called Cheese Squigglies. I'll have some Cheese Squigglies, please. Excellent choice. It says creamy cheddar in the middle and it's supposed to be mac and cheese, so we're not gonna get that mozzarella string cheese, unfortunately, but that would have been nice. What is this? I feel like there's something in this bag that's wrong. See how long it takes you to spot what I'm what I'm looking at. Well, that sure just looks like a normal bag of cheese squigglies. D uh, excuse me, what is that? It looks like bugs. I know it's not bugs, but it sure does look like a bunch of bugs on a Cheeto to me. I'm gonna make a different one. I'm not gonna make that one. So all we gotta do is bake it for 10 minutes. Easy peasy. Unless I'm wrong, this isn't the first uh, incarnation of Mac and Cheetos. I think it was a Burger King thing first and then became a frozen food item. On top of that, I wanna say I remember someone suing Burger King or alleging that Burger King stole their Mac and Cheetos idea. If that's correct, that means that Mac and Cheetos have a rich history, so maybe that means that they're a little bit better. And that's about as optimistic as I can be right now. It smells mac and cheesy. It smells, uh, it smells similar to the Doritos, I think. Even the cheese kind of looks similar. <clears throat> oh. I haven't seen any advertising uh, for this product, but it kind of seems like the type of product where they'd have a commercial where someone takes a bite and then they'd be surrounded by cheese. Bye, Chihuahua. Well, that was interesting. Unlike the Doritos, you definitely taste the Cheeto on this one. It's like the outside is just, you know, the powder, Cheeto powder you get on your fingers after eating them. It's like it was coated in that. It tastes just like it. The filling is actually more, it feels more loaded than the loaded Doritos. It fills up the entire che Cheeto puff. And I mean, it It kind of tastes macaroni-y. It's been a while since I've had cheapo, uh, like Kraft macaroni or something, but it, this does remind me of Cheetos and mac and cheese for sure. It was a bit surprising to me, uh, but I think that mac and Cheeto was better than both of the loaded Doritos, uh, easily. They all kind of have the same texture. You got the crunchy outside and the, the gooey inside, but the Mac and Cheetos are better filled. It reminds me of the product that it's using. Uh, so it does taste like Cheetos and it also tastes like Mac and cheese. If that's something that you're into, maybe this is the snack for you. It's not for me, I do not want to eat anymore. It just to me feels kind of like baby food. Like I ate it and I was like, man, I probably really would have liked that when I was in elementary school. As a kid, I think I would have been all over these. As an adult, I think I'd rather snack on something maybe a little less aggressive. There's so much fake cheese flavor in that. I bet the reviews reflect this. I bet that uh, Mac and Cheetos are gonna have way better reviews than the Doritos. I bet they don't even mention Bum Bums. I have gotten the Mac and Cheetos from Burger King a few times and it was awesome. When I saw it at Walmart, I was happy. I have to compare the Mac and Cheetos to the Friday's mozzarella sticks because those two are awesome. Thanks Walmart for selling them. Only use the name for one item not related to this product. I don't totally get what Angie is trying to say here, but it sounds like they're at least reminiscent of the Burger King snack. She compares it to a frozen mozzarella stick, but without even eating Friday's mozzarella stick, I can pretty much guarantee that that's not a super fair comparison outside of the general texture, but it does not taste like a mozzarella stick. So I've tasted all three and I'm here uh, with my ratings. I give Loaded Doritos Nacho Cheese a one, Loaded Doritos Cool Ranch a two, 
and I give Mac and Cheetos a score of four, uh, which is of course on a scale of 10, tw 25, 25, 30. Let's go with 30. I think I'm most disappointed by the Cool Ranch Doritos. I thought it was gonna be like a Cool Ranch mozzarella stick, but it was neither of those things. It didn't really taste like Cool Ranch, didn't have a mozzarella stick texture. I think the picture on the box is a lying a little bit. Some pretty gooey looking cheese there. But that disappointment really just made me want to try a, an actual Cool Ranch Dorito mozzarella stick. So why don't we try making one? Seems like it's time for a Brutal Moose, Brutal Foods, Brutal Food experiment. Today, we're gonna try to make a Cool Ranch Dorito mozzarella stick uh, by modifying an existing mozzarella stick recipe. I've never made mozzarella sticks before, never done this before, just thought, hey, maybe it'd work. To prepare this hopefully successful recipe, you'll need an egg, an eighth a cup of water, Special thanks to Writing Squiggle uh, for sending me some new measuring cups. I appreciate it. All-purpose flour, cornstarch, vegetable oil, a stick of mozzarella cheese, and of course, Cool Ranch Dorito. Once again, I gotta say, I've never done this before. Don't get too excited. It could be a really bad idea. Okay, so first we're gonna try to make the breading uh, by crushing up a bunch of Cool Ranch Doritos. Feels like it could be a little difficult to do this on my little table here, but I'm gonna try anyway. You know, it might've been a smarter idea to crunch these all up while they were still in the bag. I wasn't thinking. You definitely want to make sure that the Doritos are small enough. You don't want too many really big chunks. Okay, well, this is probably not as small as it should be, but I don't want to do it anymore, so it's done. Okay, put that aside. Was that the egg? Oh. Okay, now we need to make the uh, flour and cornstarch mix. So we're gonna do a third of a cup cornstarch, two thirds of flour. I can already tell that I'm making too much of this, but it's a bit too late to turn back now. Put that aside for now. Uh, now we're gonna combine the egg and water. So water in here. The egg, beat that egg up. Unfortunately, that's all I can do in this specific location, but I'll see you over there. Hey, we're over here now. Uh, we're about ready to start frying our mozzarella stick. First off, we gotta fill up our little fryer here uh, with oil. I know you can do this kind of frying on a stove with a pan. I'm more comfortable using a little mini fryer, uh, so that's what I'm gonna be using. First, I'm just gonna fill it up with some uh, vegetable oil. And I just plug it in like this, connect the plug like that, and we're gonna set it to heat up to 350 degrees. And then once that's done, we get to the fun part. I need to stop calling things the fun part. We get to the fun part. All right, now that the oil is hot, it's time to get frying. If you're following along with me at home, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip it in the flour mixture, dip it in the egg mixture, dip it in the Doritos, and then drop it in the oil for about 30 seconds. And after that, we should have a nice, delicious, cool ranch mozzarella stick. That's what we're making. I forgot for a second. Here we go. That looks about right. Coating it in the egg mixture. Looking good. And then we go right into the Doritos. That's, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm having, why don't we double dip? Why don't we go back in the egg and then back into the Dorito? There we go. And then we're gonna drop this right into the oil. Looks like we're losing some Doritos. Uh, hopefully that's not a problem. 
Okay, it's been 30 seconds. We're gonna go in after it. Well, hey there. That looks pretty good. Surprisingly, that looks kind of like a mozzarella stick. All right. What do you think about that? This looks like the best thing I'm gonna eat all day. It looks really edible. I don't know how long I should wait between frying and trying. I can't even pick it up without the cheese stretching. Oh, baby. Well, that is undoubtedly the best thing I've had today, for sure. It's definitely more loaded than the Doritos loaded. So I think this is better than any of the frozen snacks that I tried. I think actually making this is gonna make you happier than just buying the frozen ones. It's really not too much effort and it just tastes a lot better. That said, it is nowhere near as good as a regular mozzarella stick. Uh, you can taste the Cool Ranch and the mozzarella. Whether or not those flavors go together well, that's up to you. I think the fact that it actually worked and that it worked out better than the frozen stuff, that all together is better than the actual taste. So while it is the best, it's still not very good. <laughs> The victory is very nice. The taste. Me. Me. Uh, the chip and cheese combination. I don't know. Kids might like that. Kids might actually like that. Maybe make that for your kid and then tell me what they think about it. And that's all I really got to say about Ian's uh, original Cool Ranch mozzarella stick. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It's been really fun uh, making the stuff. I'm sure it'll be fun to edit. Um, editing Ian. Was it fun to edit this video? Let me know right here. Whether it's food, games, movies, any of the stuff I try out, uh, I just wanna make videos that you guys like to watch. Uh, so give me some feedback, let me know how I'm doing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Meh.